Dear students, today we are going to perform preparation of chemical competent cells. This is one of the method of cloning, which is transfer of DNA from one organism to another organism. The purpose of this experiment is to make the cells more competent or more adsorbent to the foreign DNA, so it can be transferred inside the bacterial cells. For doing this experiment, make sure all the equipments are spliced and you have to perform the experiment using sterilization techniques. We need an overnight culture of E. coli and 150 ml LB broth, 50 ml calcium chloride solution for this purpose. I will perform the experiment in the biosafety cabinet and you need to follow me. Now we have inoculated 100 ml of LB broth with 0.1 ml of overnight grown uh, E. coli culture. We need this culture to be put on shaker incubator at 37 degrees centigrade for about 2 hours. And after 2 hours we need to check its uh, optimal density so that it reaches about 0.5 to 0.7. When the OD reaches about 0.5 and the cells starts growing, we need to pellet down the culture. For this, first we transfer the culture from a flask into the centrifuge tubes and then put into the centrifuge machine. After transfer of culture to the centrifuge tube, we need to centrifuge the culture. Centrifugation speed is 3000 G, which is equal to 4000 RPM for this machine. Temperature 4 degrees centigrade. And the time for spin is five minutes. As you know, when we use centrifuge machine, we need to put always in a balance so to balance the culture I have put a balancer and start the machine after centrifugation of the culture at 3000 G for 5 minutes at 4 degrees centigrade, we will obtain supernatant and pellet. We need to transfer the supernatant to the discard and we need this pellet. To the pellet, we will add calcium chloride, which is 50 millimolar solution, and this should be ice cold. The centrifuge tube as well as the solution should be ice cold.
After complete resuspension of the pellet, we will put this culture in ice for about 10 minutes and then centrifuge again to obtain the pellet. Bacterial suspension in a calcium chloride solution after incubation needed to be pellet down. For this, we will centrifuge this. At 3000 G, 4 degrees centigrade and 5 minutes. After centrifugation of the calcium chloride containing culture at 4 degrees centigrade, 3000 G, we will up, uh, again obtain supernatant and pellet. Now we need to discard the supernatant and we will dissolve this pellet in a calcium chloride solution 2 ml. After complete dissolution, we will aliquot the suspension as our competent cells will be ready. One uh, precaution is that we need to maintain 4 degrees centigrade or ice cold throughout the experiment. So the, all the solutions, all the tubes should be ice cold and we need to handle the cells very gently. So when you shake this uh, solution for the solution of pellet, we, need, we should be very gentle. It should not be harsh.
competent cells has been prepared with glycerol. We can store these competent cells at minus 80 degrees centigrade for few months. The spectacle is about transformation of bacteria with plasmid DNA. Heat shock method is a very famous method and it, is, it can be easily performed in a lab. In this method, through heat, the foreign DNA is allowed to penetrate inside the bacterial cell. For performing this experiment, we need competent cells and in the previous practical, we have already made chemically competent cells and then a foreign DNA. It can be a plasmid vector or another vector. The plasmid vector is usually containing our gene of interest as well as an antibiotic selection marker. So we start our experiment. We need two things first. Number one, competent cells which are already prepared and stored on ice or 4 degrees centigrade. And number two, our DNA of interest which is plasmid in this case. We will mix one microliter of plasmid DNA with the competent cells helicot already thawed and put on ice. Then after mixing, this mixture is allowed to incubate in ice for about 20 minutes. Transformation of bacterial cells through heat shock method is called heat shock because we give a, the transforming cell a shock of 42 degrees centigrade. For this we need water bath. So after incubation of competent cells with the uh, plasmid DNA, we will give a shock of about 1 minute and we need for this we need to put the bacterial cells from ice into the water bath. For bacteria to survive the heat shock, we have added 1 ml of LB broth and to grow the bacteria, we need to put this append off at 37 degrees centigrade for about 2 hours so that bacteria will multiply and uh, grow. After 2 hours of incubation of bacterial cells, we will spread 100 microliter of the culture on an LB plate. The LB plate should be containing your selection marker like any antibiotic.
After spreading of 100 microliter of culture, this need, plate needed to be incubated at 37 degrees centigrade overnight. And after incubation, if your plasmid has been transformed, you will see colonies. After overnight incubation of uh, bacterial culture, your colonies will appear like this if it has transformed plasmid.